I've spent the past seven years traveling the world perfecting my craft. You see, I'm something of a magician, inventor, and chocolate maker. So quiet up and listen down. Nope, scratch that, reverse it. You have given us a gift with this film. Thank you. I work with Harkins Theaters, the largest family owned theater chain in the U.S. We're based wow. in Arizona. The new loyalty cup, not that you need to save a buck. Yeah. The $3 refill starting oh, in January. So there amazing. You go. A gift for you. Yeah, I'm going to take my time figuring out <laughs> okay. each movie that's on this. Perfect. Beetle Don't do Juice. it now, though, during okay, my interview. My apologies. Okay. I've seen Napoleon Dynamite. Okay. This will be fun. Jaws. I'm sure there's one that you're in. Ooh. He's good. Too good. Congratulations on this. Thank you, I appreciate it. I know in the film, chocolate is currency. It's yes. a temptation. Yes. It's a bribe. It is. What works for you? If I want to get you to do something for me and you're not going to do it, what actually would work? Oh man, a great director and a great script. Yeah? That's all you need. Yeah. How do you like it? I don't know. I've never had any. You've never had chocolate? I know in the movie that you say to Noodle's character, you've never had chocolate? Yeah. You're stunned. Stunned. What is something that you've never had, or maybe never tried, that actually your friends are kind of surprised you haven't huh. done or <laughs> had yet? Um, you know, or maybe a film you haven't watched that everybody assumes you've seen. Kayla okay. said Star Wars. Honestly, a movie I haven't seen that Kayla gives me a very hard time for not seeing. I'm gonna open myself up to getting killed here, but it's Home Alone. Oh, um, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. But she would kill me for not seeing it. As impressive as the CGI was mm -hmm. for Hugh's Oompa Loompa, I was more impressed by his travel case. He basically yes. has a full bar, yeah. a fold out chair. The, yes. You have traveled, you know, especially the past week or two, yeah. all over. What are your must haves when you travel? I wish I had his sort of little Oompa Loompa make a drink portable station. Uh, my must, must haves are. Uh, uh, Good games on my iPhone, you know, okay. um, new things that will keep me engaged, good new books. My AirPod Maxes, you know, I'm not trying to just plug, you know, <laughs> gi a giant corporation, <laughs> but the, the noise yeah. canceling on a flight, that's crucial. Yeah. Every good thing in this world started with a dream. Yeah. I am your last interview today, so I'm yeah. going to end with this. In uh -huh. the film, obviously one of the messages is everything good starts with a dream. Mm -hmm. Hold on to your dreams. Mm -hmm. A lot of yours I know have come true. Mm -hmm. What is a current dream or a wish that you find kind of consumed by lately? I mean, it, continued good health and consistent happiness for my family and those I love, you know? I think that can't be taken for granted, especially good health. Yeah. You know, you hurt a little part of your body and your wrist or something and you didn't you know, realize how important your wrist was. So yeah. continued good health and joy for not only those I love, but the whole world and, 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 and peace. She's madly in love with you. You just need to tidy yourself up a little bit. Get some new clothes. I realized this movie is so much about joy. I decided that few things bring me more joy than seeing you be seduced. <laughs> what was it like to be <laughs> seduced? That was one of my most favorite scenes. And I struggled, I found it, I giggled a lot, but luckily we were allowed to. Yeah. Um, but Tom was so much fun to muck about with on set. And he just had a new baby. So he was getting three hours sleep a night. So he, <gasps> he was delirious oh, and, he really, yeah. Yeah, and funny. And it was so much fun being yeah. seduced and wearing uh, so, sort of uh, sexy outfits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, something yeah. you'd find in Arizona. A lot of people wear oh, shorts really? and things oh. that expose a lot of skin in some place that yeah. hot. I've never had any. You've never had chocolate? Um, your character, Timothy, is stunned. Noodle has not had chocolate before. Mm, yeah. I'm curious, what is something that you have yet to try, or maybe a movie you haven't seen where you're almost embarrassed to admit you haven't tried or seen it yet? There must be so many. Mm -hmm. There must be so oh, yeah. many. I mean, like, eh. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen any of the Star Wars films. Oh, oh that's... Well, there you go. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's a biggie. That's right, right. Yeah, that's a biggie. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah. That's quite exciting. Don't be embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, it is exciting. It's exciting jealous. that you, yeah, exactly, yeah. that we don't get to see that. We don't yeah. get, get to experience that for mm. the first time again. You know what I've never seen? I've never seen Gone with the Wind. I haven't either. Have you Maybe really? No. Yeah, I've, I've never the seen car, Gone with the Wind. Can I tell you something weird? Listen. I was actually named after the house in Gone with the Wind. Oh, are you really? And it burned down. 
And uh, and the spoiler alert, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> 90, 80 years. Yeah, sorry. 85 years spoiler alert. Right, it's Tara. Right. The house is Tara. Tara. That's, that's what right. I was named it's after. That's Tara. Oh. Were you real? I swear, Your parents yeah. from the South? No. They just, they just liked the yes. movie. <laughs> yes, you were You were destined for this job. I guess so. I know, it's random. Did they watch it to the end? Yeah, they did. They still do? I, I, well, I know. That's a whole separate conversation oh. and some therapy, but I'll get this. A good chocolate should be simple. Where is this? It's just weird. In the film, chocolate should be simple, according to the cartel. Mm -hmm. Not so many bells and whistles. What's mm -hmm. something that's kind of been destroyed, in your opinion, by all the bells and whistles? Something you prefer to just be simple? Um, uh, well, this is a little niche. But radio interviews, you used to be able to turn up in your pajamas, but now they're all yeah. filmed. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes. Oh, no. Yes, and you have to wear good, you gotta wear good clothes. The great right. thing about radio mm -hmm. was no one cared. Right. Probably cake. I don't really like, because some people put like so many like different like, I don't know, like, um, what, like fondant and all that. I just yep. want a plain cake with frosting. <laughs> that's what I want. I miss a good, like a good, a good car, like a Jeep. Remember how oh, Jeeps yeah. used to be? So just you like, fix you, 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 you fix your, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, and, and now it's, you get into a car, even like a rental car, you get in the car yeah. and go, oh, there's six screens. Right. And I don't know what am I hitting here. And I, you don't even right. turn this thing on. Just a nice old fashioned right. car. And I, 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 and like, I don't even know which button rolls down the window. Remember, you just, you just used to crank the window yep. down and that was easy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you a brand new contraption of my creation. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. I work with Harkins Theaters, the largest family-owned theater chain in the U.S. How fantastic. 90 years of ultimate movie going. Wow. And the place to see your movie. Absolutely. Well, it's a movie all about <laughs> family and really yeah. about the... The, you know the impression that our that our the, the family we're, we're born into leaves on us and the and the the joy of finding new families a, a, along the, the path of life that's what you get from a from a you know the shared experience of cinema is that you get to you get to share something with other people and no matter how great you're set up at home there's no replacement for especially something with laughter and and, and joy in it as I hope this film has uh, it's it's so much better shared. Yeah, it has all of that in spades, by the way. And there's also singing and dancing. And I know you've said you're not a singer or a dancer, but if you were, <laughs> what is the number you'd love to have been a part of? Oh, out of I, all the great... I number? would love to have done You've Never Had Chocolate Like This. Yeah. We have this big sort of... Uh, big proper old Hollywood musical sort of set piece in the middle of the movie and uh, even after sort of three and a half years of making this film I cannot watch that without a huge <laughs> grin on my face it's just joyful but some people say chocolate should be simple in this film no, no yes. bells and whistles yes yes you've got a lot of bells and whistles as it relates to this movie but what's a simple scene that really gets to you in this film that might be overshadowed by all the elaborate pieces that we'll see right well I think there's um some of my my favorite move, bits in the movie are the are the dialogue scenes between Willie and Noodle. I just think they're a kind of fabulous sort of double act, and they really make me laugh. And there's a scene in the alley after they've escaped where he first tells her about this little orange man that he sees that he is, is sort of chasing him round the round the world, and she thinks he's completely insane. Yeah. And uh, and she, uh, Kayla's so funny in it, and uh, Timmy's so charming, and I just think they're great. Speaking of the little orange man, when he first saw himself as the little orange man, because I know it's CGI, um, his reaction, are you watching him as he's watching it? Or when well, you first saw what you had done with all the, the, the effects? I think, I think he knew where we were going. The sort of, the very disturbing truth of it is that uh, when we were sort of, uh, obviously we, we use Hugh's face and we use Hugh's performance and right. it's, all, it's, all, it's all Hugh, but, but it does go through this, this animation process and, and, and they sort of build a character who is sort of, you know, the size, the size of an Oompa Loompa. And um, the first render of him was entirely naked. <laughs> And it's okay. uh, that then is you something loved you, it. you cannot unsee. They they <laughs> pixelated him very discreetly. Okay. But uh, he, I assume he's anatomically correct. But I never I never wanted to see it unpixelated. It would have been uh, I wouldn't have ever slept again. Well, let me let audiences at Harkins know he has clothes on in, in the film, <laughs> throughout so, the movie. Throughout the movie, so I, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. <laughs> oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Too late. I've started dancing now. Once we've started, we can't stop. 